Well, the family's all grown up, so we're now on our own here, my wife and I, and it's always been my objective to be self-sufficient. So we've slowly thought about how we could do it, and we've had the opportunity over the last few years to actually start to make some real inroads to it. So I think we've gone quite a long way down that road. The modifications to the house have been gradual. So the first things we did in the house were to think about, well, what about the light bulbs? There are energy saving light bulbs, so let's make sure we get those in place. What about the gas fire we've got? Do we want a gas fire? Yes, we do, because we want to keep warm. Well, what about a wood burner? So we researched that and we had the log burner fitted. And when we were thinking about changing the boiler to make sure that that was more energy efficient, we made sure all the radiators had thermostatic valves on so that each room could be set to a temperature rather than having to go around all the time. Because the best one in the world, you're busy, you're going to forget to do it. And then you're not energy efficient. The solar panel is a fairly recent acquisition. It's something that over the last year we've had fitted. And there's a system that reads the boiler and the solar panel on the roof, and it decides which is the most effective and efficient to use. So it, it was gradual changes as we went along. And of course the Borough Council have got a good recycling system, so I'm feeling good that we're not wasting materials because the Earth's resources aren't finite. They will run out at some point. And where do we go then? So I like the idea of not leaving a footprint on the planet. The allotment, um, I'm trying to become vegetable self-sufficient with the allotment. The idea being that over the next couple of years, we, we actually produce enough for the whole family to have fresh vegetables without having to go to the shops and rely on buying them. And the latest acquisition is um, the trailer from a bike, thinking about, well, I'm going to the allotment, so do I really need to go in the car? Yes, because I need to carry tools. No, not if I've actually got a trailer from a bike. So I'm, I'm now learning to ride my bike with a trailer on it, which has been quite a challenge, but I, I'm finding it quite enjoyable. It's interesting now what I'm passing on to my own children and my grandchildren because my daughter's now got a solar panel and a compost bin. My son's got a log burner and the grandchildren are starting to say they'd like to come to the allotment and they'd like to grow things. I entered the Future Friendly Awards because having read it I saw that I was doing quite a lot that it was talking about and I was interested in um, showcasing the things that we actually do here because I think the Future Friendly Award is the challenge that says, well, can we all do it? And I'd like to think that what I'm doing is something that most people could do.